Guys, do you know what the most annoying part about this app development has been? It's been figuring out all of like these new bits, like the content, and how to get your mic to work. <laughs> um, all right, let me just uh, make that a lot smaller and up here. Right, so today, I'm just going to go through, let me just turn that down, I can hear myself. Hopefully this works, because if I have to record it again, it's going to be a no-show. <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to go through the website build, um, and just show you the file structure. That's all I'm really going to show you today, unless um, someone wants like a full demo so i'm gonna just uh quickly hop to the very very beautiful ah oh, look i've got something again oh bear with me bear with me new to the game new to the game uh i think it's called float yep okay so that should stay now right so this is the website the king chi website and I had to build it really, really quickly, but it's so beautiful. Look, you've got all of our categories here. Very dynamic, very stylish. Um, you've got, what are these things called? The reviews and stuff. These are real reviews, by the way. So, yeah. And then you've got um, links to all of our social media pages. So, yay, is one that I did today. Looking like slightly less frustrated than I am right now. <laughs> Um, and our YouTube channel as well. Hopefully you guys are subscribed to that. And um, oh, look at our poor, our poor views here. Okay, we've got 95 there. I think the shorts seem to do a bit better on here. But anyway, that's not what the app is about. It's not, that's not what it's about. Right, so the website, you've got the homepage, about us. Again, everything links nice beautiful very elegant you've got our categories as well so these are the things that you're going to see um on the app once we launch that shortly contact again very dynamic we will be at the excel center um this year so stay tuned for that and our email and finally our blog page right so this bit i'm gonna do a tutorial later because um some of it is not actually working because there's no storage behind it so you do need to have a storage bucket um for this to work and talking of story <laughs> hey son <laughs> i'm not recording again that's it it's fine it's fine yeah there he is anyway um where was i right right storage buckets so we are hosted on GCP. So this is our, um, what's it called? Our GCP storage bucket. So you can see that's the website there hosted. Um, these are all of the files that I'm about to show you in a minute in um, VS Code and GitHub. And to, to like for your site to host correctly or to show correctly, you do need to have um, all of your files in there otherwise nothing will happen basically so actually I'm just thinking the PHP handler is not in there so maybe that's why it's not working um, but yeah I'll come back to that later right so GCP cloud um, HTML and CCSS uh, website and then here is um the code so my friend said so he wanted to see my files right so i'm going to start with um all right we won't go to docker ignore that's that's another long subject and there's people on the internet that can tell you about that more eloquently than i can <laughs> but you can see here the main pages so this is all of the format of um html basically so this is the structure of those pages so they do look quite similar but obviously, um, like here, you can see the blurb of the blog. It's like got the content of what I'm saying and stuff like that. Again, not a professional um, content person because I don't even have a proper light. Um, yeah, 
The first time I deployed the website, I used um, Cloud Run, um, which is a GCP service, and Cloud Build, so that's like a pipeline um, for CI, CD, so continuous integration, continuous deployment. Cloud Build is a lot of fun. I like it a lot, and you can... Um, you can push up to like 200 builds for free in, in Google Cloud, which is a bonus. Um, Compose YAML, I'm going to take that out because I didn't actually need it <laughs> at all. Um, I just used a simple Docker file to, um, yeah, to host, to, to containerize uh, the application, which I needed for Cloud Run. So when you use Cloud Run, you do have to containerize your application, so you need to have a Docker file. Um, but if you're using the bucket, as I showed you here, then you don't need you don't need a container. Basically, you can simply just pop all of your images and your files into the bucket, and it will host nicely for you. I think the only the only configuration that you really have to do is the um, CDN the um, DNS. Um, so that's connecting your DNS namespace to, you know, um, www.kingchi. So before it was just named bucket and whatever file that I wanted to call it, but I wanted to have our own domain there. Yeah, so you don't need to have a Docker file if you're hosting it into a bucket. So this is a PHP handler. So if you if you go back to our website, and um, I think it was this page that I was talking about. So this file here, it basically handles all of the requests. So when you put your name in, your email, 